Okay, let me describe monkey testing. Its properties, when and how to perform it, pros and cons with the examples. Monkey testing is a type of software testing technique. It involves randomly inputting data into a program to see if it can withstand unexpected inputs and still operate correctly. So the term monkey testing is derived from the idea of a monkey randomly pressing buttons on a keyboard in the hope of creating a correct sequence of commands. Monkey testing is a type of exploratory testing. It is unscript and random. It can help uncover defects that may be missed in structured testing. And it is typically performed by QA teams. Monkey testing is a black box testing technique. I mean that the tester never needs to have any knowledge of the internal workings of the software being tested. And the test cases are randomly generated. Additionally, the test results of monkey testing are analyzed for unexpected behavior, crashes, or other failures. Monkey testing is typically used as a supplement to more structured testing approaches such as functional testing, integration testing, and regression testing. It is often performed when there is a need to test the robustness of a system or application or to uncover hidden defects that may not be caught through structured testing. To perform monkey testing, testers will randomly input data into an application or system using a variety of different inputs and commands. This could involve clicking on random buttons, typing in random characters, or generating random data to input into the system. So the goal of monkey testing is to see how the system responds to unexpected inputs and to identify any areas of weakness or vulnerability. Monkey testing has a couple of benefits. These are, for example, it can help uncover defects that may be missed through structured testing. And it can help test the robustness of an application or system. And additionally, it can be a cost-effective way to identify defects. There are a few disadvantages of monkey testing for sure. These are, it can be time-consuming and difficult to manage and it may not provide reliable results if inputs are not truly random. I mean that monkey testing can be unreliable since the random inputs, inputs may not represent real-world scenarios. Last but not least, it can be difficult to reproduce defects found through monkey testing. Finally, let me give a couple of examples about monkey testing. For example, a tester may randomly click on buttons in an application to see if any unexpected behaviors occur. Or a tester may input random data into a form to see if the system can handle unexpected inputs. Another example is that a tester may use random commands to navigate through a system to see if any unexpected errors or crashes occur. I think that's all about monkey testing. Thank you so much.